Yeah, you see all the vegetation down here? It's a punch in paradise. Seems like I'm gonna get stuck a lot over here. Maybe. Yay. <laughs> Sounds like a great time. Oh, there's a fish right there. They're already here, baby. They've been waiting for us. Ooh, that is a big. Oh, that one hits you, that is going to hurt. A little less attitude, please. <laughs> Not an improvement. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. So today we are continuing on with getting out of our comfort zone. Uh, last time we got rained out before we could really explore anything. Now that I have Caroline with me, we're going to start in a part of the lake she's never fished before. Uh, we caught a few fish last time over here, so we're going to start here and then work our way back into the channels. So let's get to fishing. All right, guys. So we are going to start off with once, uh, oh, as you guys know, the little five inch felony flyer. Cause this is an absolute fish catching machine, especially in shallow water like this. We're about three and a half feet deep of water. We got some nice wind coming, uh, westward wind. So get these fish fired up right quick. Oh, and just like that guys, we are on and they are running towards the boat. Oh, and it's not too bad of one. Right out the gate, first cast. What can I say? Felony flyers. The felony flyers, yep. Not scale material, but you know what I mean? Like I said, sometimes just giving out of your comfort zone, going to a new part of the lake, you know, like I said, it, it's it's good to test your skills as an angler. And uh, like I said, we're quickly rewarded right there with a very fast first cast catch. And like I said, our, our fluke is still in pretty good condition. So we'll see how many fish catches we get off. We've been averaging about three per, uh, per fluke which is, uh, you know, normally with like Zoom or uh, Strike King, I get about two fish bites and then it will be time to change it out. So let's see if we can't get another one. Make sure my drag is up this time because last time it wasn't. Luckily it was high enough to where I could get the hook set. I'll make sure we're, uh, yep, we're text posed. All right. What are you using, sweetie? Drop shot? You're gonna have to switch it up. Like I said, today's all about getting out of your comfort zone. What is that floating over there? Oh, it just went down. It must've been a turtle. You know, this would probably be a good place to do uh, like top water. Too bad I don't have one tied on. Oh, you're fishing in the entrance? You know, when I was here the other day, they were uh, jumping there quite a bit. I just couldn't catch any of them over there. Yeah, that opening, those two openings over there, that's where I was catching all the fish from yesterday, uh, last time I was here. Yeah, I, I caught like a three pounder over here last time. So we actually got some attachments for our GoPro. Hopefully uh, you guys will be able to hear us better now, um, even though it's windy out, because I hate to say it, we are hitting our windy season. Yeah, for anybody that thinks Florida is like perfect weather, you're either sweating nonstop, not able to be outside, or it's raining nonstop, or it's windy. 
I don't think we ever have like a perfect season like most like Midwest states have like in the mid 70s. But we can fish all year, so can we really complain? No. <laughs> no we can't. <laughs> Ooh. Technically the fish is by letting go. Well, after those two last bites, this fluke might be done though, guys. no the wind caught that and it just totally made me black lash yeah you guys got to be really careful about the wind when you're using weightless jerk baits and super thin line did you miss another miss another bite or get stuck I just missed a bite because I was messing with this too much. Dang. All right, let's get her back in there. Oh yeah, that, that was a good cast. This one's gonna be a fish, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, guys, so this fluke is not staying up anymore, so it is time to change. All right, I'm thinking black and blue. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, that or something a little shinier. You know what? We still got some blood harvest left. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Put one of these bad boys on because as we know this this one definitely definitely does catch a good amount of fish all right let's get her back in there guys bless her with the water let's go back this way oh my gosh i hit the I knocked the tail off. <sighs> that fluke's done. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do another one. <sighs> Try this again without freaking taking out our uh, trolling motor. So it seems like the bite on this has deadened. So what we're gonna do is we are going to switch to a swim bait. Now, as you guys know, swim baits are my favorite way to catch fish. Cause it is an aggressive fish that goes after a swim bait. not the sauce. All right, I think I'm about to use my drop shot. I don't need luck. I don't need luck. I got the skills to pay the bills. So Caroline doubts my drop shot game. Can you believe her? 
I taught her everything she knows. She would not be the drop shot queen if I hadn't taught her my secrets. Oh, might have messed myself up here. Come on. There we go. Well, Gilbert. You get one? There is still fish here, baby. No, there is still fish here. I killed him, Gilbert! Definitely still fish here, baby. You just gotta find him. Did my life almost just end? You gonna catch it? Yep. Got one. Oh, did I just hear the drop qu shot queen get mad? Big, small, I love them all. Flashing. He is a wee little guy. What color, uh... Little fishy. Just your robo worms. Like I said, there's a, there's still some stuff you can learn from me. Like I said, guys, drop shot. I'm not a big fan of fishing the drop shot. Caroline can tell you that. Uh, I much rather fish uh, some other style. But you cannot deny how effective the drop shot is. It is a very very effective very effective technique and I am using a slightly bigger hook than most would consider usable for a drop shot but with this giant robo worm we don't really have any drop shot baits so for this giant robo worm, I'm using a three aught hook instead of what Caroline's using, which is the one aught. But Caroline trying to make jokes over here when she doesn't realize that. I can use her technique all day to catch fish. I just choose not to. So that's what, do nothing? Let's get the punching rod out. All right, we'll see if we can't get a little something off the punching game. 